Hi, I'm Melanie Fay. Let's look at some chords and their relative minors. Now I'm going to show you some basic open chord voicings for these chords. First one is C major. That's going to be ring finger on the third fret of the A string, middle finger on the second fret of the D string, open G, and then index finger on the first fret of the B string, and then open high E. Then next is an A major. You're going to play the open A string, and then index finger, you're going to play 2nd fret D string, middle finger is 2nd fret G string, and ring finger is 2nd fret B string. And if you want to, you can also play the open high E. And then after that is a G major chord. So that one is going to be 3rd fret middle finger, low E. Index finger is second fret, A string. Open D, open G, and then ring finger on the third fret of the B string, and then pinky on the third fret of the high E string. Then we have an E major chord. So that one is going to be open low E. Middle finger on the second fret of the A string. Ring finger on the second fret of the D string. And next finger on the first fret of the G string. And then open B and then open high E. And then after that is a D major chord. So that one's going to be open D. 2nd fret, G string, index finger, and then ring finger, 3rd fret, B string, and then middle finger, 2nd fret, high E, and you're going to play the top 4 strings. You want to use relative keys because they really help with songwriting, and they really help with navigating the fretboard in general and making uh, music just a lot less of a mystery. First one we're going to start with is going to be C major, and its relative minor is A minor. Then next we have A major, and then the relative minor of that would be F sharp minor. Two of the chords have open relative minor chords, and that would be A minor and E minor and the rest would be bar chords. Bar chord is where you're gonna take one finger, probably your index finger, and you're gonna fret multiple strings across one fret. That's what a bar chord looks like in its simplest form. There's two main positions for bar chords. One would be rooted on the A string, and that would be B minor, which is relative of D major. And then the other one is F sharp minor, which is relative for A major. Then we have G major, and the relative minor is E minor. Then we have E major, and the relative minor would be C sharp minor. Then we have D major, and the relative minor is B minor. So B minor, you're going to take your index finger and bar the second fret, leave the low E string unbarred. We're not playing that one at all. So bar from the A string down. And then ring finger is going to be on the fourth fret of the D string. Pinky is on the fourth fret of the G string. And then middle finger is on the third fret of the B string. And then 
F sharp minor, you're gonna stay on the second fret, but bar the entire fret, low E all the way to high E. Then ring finger is on the fourth fret of the A string. And then pinky is on the fourth fret of the D string. And you're gonna play all six strings. Mm -hmm. 